Today I want to talk about something that used to make me roll my eyes because I used to think that practicing gratitude was so cringy and cheesy. I'm really conscious of the fact that if I was still struggling with my drinking today, in 2020, in a challenging year like this, and someone said, oh, do you know what you should try to help with your sobriety? Why don't you keep a gratitude diary? Well, I would probably have felt like punching them in the face. I'd be thinking, seriously, how is that gonna help? Keeping a gratitude diary is what people do when they've got too much time on their hands and not enough real world problems to deal with. So, as you might be able to tell, I used to be just a little bit skeptical about this stuff. But now look, I've turned into one of those people. These are my gratitude diaries. Honestly, I quit drinking seven years ago and I have been practicing gratitude on and off almost since the beginning, but I must admit I wasn't very consistent with it at all until last year, this is my 2019 diary, Last year, I did it every single day, and this year, I have so far kept up the same practice, so quite proud of myself. I am a convert to it now, and I've thought really long and hard about whether to speak about this today, because I know some people are going through really, really hard times right now, and I'm, I'm not blind to that, and I don't want to come across as insensitive, but, I also know that I have found this year to be hard as well. And actually, because of that, keeping a gratitude diary has felt more important than ever. Because here's the thing, our brains naturally have a negativity bias. We're just wired to pay more attention to negative experiences. And this year, we haven't had to look hard to find them. And when your focus is always on what's going wrong, what's hard, what's uncertain, what's not working out, we can spiral downwards. And that's not good for anyone, but in early sobriety, it is particularly unhelpful to get sort of sucked into that negative feedback loop. Because after all, sobriety is a real mindset game. And when you come up against challenges, the decisions you make about whether to push through those obstacles and find a way to keep going, that's going to depend quite a bit on where your head is, how you're feeling, what your kind of overall state is. So none of this stuff about gratitude is theory, by the way. Research has found that people who keep a gratitude journal for three weeks measure 25% higher on life satisfaction. They exercise more, they drink less alcohol, and their friends and family say they're nicer to be around. So I think the mistake I have made with practicing gratitude over the years is that for quite a long time, it was something I only did sporadically, when I was being good, when I had the time, when things were going well. And as soon as life wasn't any of those things, then I just stopped bothering with it. But what I've realized this year is that practicing gratitude is actually the most effective when you do it during the most challenging times. And yes, on some days, you really do have to work quite hard to think of the things that you're grateful for. But that's kind of the whole point. You are finding something to appreciate even when you haven't had the best of days. And I'll tell you this, Personally, I quite often go to bed, perhaps oh, feeling bothered about something that went wrong in the day, because it's so easy for your mind to rest on the negative stuff. But then, when I have to stop and think about what I'm grateful for, I suddenly remember that earlier in the day, oh, all that other stuff happened, and that was really good, and it changes the way I'm sort of viewing the day, and that's so important. So, there are, lots of different ways you can practice gratitude. You can write a daily list of different things you're grateful for in a diary like this. You can write those things on little sticky notes if you prefer and put them in a jar. That can be quite fun to go back through later on and empty them out and look at what you wrote. 
Personally, I like to journal a couple of different things. So every day I write down the three things that I'm grateful for. Might be big stuff, might be stupid stuff. I also write down one thing I'm proud of and one thing I'm looking forward to. And don't worry about whether you're gonna be able to find something to write down every day. When you get really specific and you get into the habit of this, you will always be able to find something, no matter how small it is. So, I hope that wasn't too cheesy or too cringy and it hasn't turned you off. Now, I would love to hear your feelings about this. I'd love to know what you're grateful for today. Perhaps it's something to do with alcohol-free living or perhaps it's completely unrelated. But whatever it is, I'd love to hear about it. So let me know in the comments below. And I'm wishing you a great week ahead.